Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here. We're talking about Google Plus today. Now Google Plus is a social network. Not a lot of people give it a lot of credit, but I talked about MySpace the other day. MySpace is a social network. But if you go to a Google search and just type in Google Plus is, you get a lot of negative suggested search results, thinking that people don't really think very positively of Google Plus. So right now I'm just gonna give you guys five reasons why Google Plus is awesome. Number five is a plus one button. It's everywhere. You can even grab a Chrome extension that'll allow you to see basically how many Google Plus users have plus one a certain page. And it'll show up in the top corner and you can plus one any page on the internet. So let's see plus one YouTube videos, images, content, just websites in general, articles, anywhere. And it's basically kind of like a gauge of how popular or how well received something has been in the Google Plus user community. Wolfram Alpha, 6,000 plus ones. The Verge, 18,000 plus ones. Gangnam Style, 63,000 plus ones. Google.com, 147,000 plus ones. And YouTube.com, 194,000 plus ones. Nice. Number four is the people. Now, if you've been on Google Plus recently, you might have heard that it just recently passed 400 million users to sign up, but everyone has to say, well, Google basically forces people to sign up for Google Plus now, so practically none of them are active, right? Well, one in four of them, about 100 million people, are active on Google Plus every single day. And I'm one of them, so that link's down below. And these 100 million people are a ridiculously awesome community with very high engagement. And if you get any of these 100 million people to circle you or to be in your circles, you're gonna have a great time on Google+. It might seem awkward at first on Google+, Plus because barely any of your Facebook friends are there. Sometimes no one you actually know in real life is there. But Google+, Plus is probably the best social network to just start meeting new people. There are a lot of sites you wouldn't want to do that on, but Google+, Plus is a great community. If you say that Google+, Plus is a wasteland from your own personal experience, you're probably doing it wrong. Like if I were to follow zero people on Twitter or to have zero Facebook friends, I would think that those sites are also wastelands too. Like MySpace. Number three is the Google integration with all types of other Google services. As you know, Google Plus is basically the hub for it, so you're gonna see Google Plus in like embedded in services like Google Calendar, Google services like Search and Contacts and Gmail, and that's all gonna help tie everything together with your profile and everything about you on your Google Plus profile. I forgot exactly who, but I think it was Vic Godotra or a, a very high-end Google VP basically described it as like a hub for the rest of the Google services. So they branch out from Google Plus into Maps, Gmail, Contacts, Calendar, everything else depends on your Google Plus profile. So it's just a good thing to have. Number two is Google Plus Hangouts. This is an awesome free service. So Google Plus Hangouts are like video chat. It's free, it's built into Google Plus, so there's no separate app like Skype needed and it's basically a way for you to face-to-face -face communicate using a front-facing camera on your phone or your desktop or anything that can access Google Plus to talk to other people with your mic. You can have up to 10 people involved and there are also all types of other services that you can use with the Google Plus Hangouts. So you can all watch a YouTube video together or you can all wear sweet faces that use motion tracking on your face to give you a mustache. All kinds of crazy things that you can use with the desktop and mobile versions of Google Plus Hangouts. It's almost like calling too because FaceTime before, if you have used iOS, could only be used on Wi-Fi. Now it's used on cellular data networks, but it's only two people. Google Plus, 10 people. That's a huge advantage right there. And the number one best thing about Google Plus is the app. The mobile app is amazing. It's so good, in fact, that there is pretty much no need for a third-party app. You go to Facebook on mobile, sometimes you use a mobile website, sometimes you might use a mobile app, but the mobile app, especially on like Windows Phone and Android, they suck really badly. The Windows, uh, Windows Phone Facebook app is awful. The MySpace apps are not even worth trying. The Google Plus app is fast, it's responsive. It has just about every single feature you can use on the desktop, which is something that not all the other services offer. You can start Hangouts, you can join Hangouts, you can plus one reshare, comment on posts, plus one comments, see who plus one posts, see who can plus one comments. Everything that's available on the desktop is available on the mobile app, on the tablet, and on your phone. And that's probably the best thing about Google+. So overall, you might think that Google+, Plus is just another social network. A lot of people think, oh, I don't want to get forced into signing up for this. It must not be great if you have to force me into it. But a lot of people are missing that this is actually a really nice hub for your sort of Google life. So the more Google services you use, like Calendar, Gmail, Search, the more you're going to find the benefits of Google+. Plus. So look on the bright side. You might want to try it out. Circle a few people. Circle me. My link is down below in the description of this video. Uh, plus one the things you like. Try plus one in this video if you've never plus one anything before. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.
Peace.